Hi, my name is Mark Allens and I'm from Trident InfoSoul. With over 15 years experience, Trident is a designer and manufacturer of standard-based, rugged, small form factor computers. In this brief video today, I will introduce to you a new standard from the Vita committee called Vita 74, or better known as VNX. So let's get started. For over the last 30 years, there have been two main Vita standards that have dominated the rugged embedded computer market, the 6U VME for about 30 years, and then the 3U VPX for the last 10 years. They have served the market very well as components were of larger size, slower speeds, and performing single tasks. But as Moore's laws matured, we have seen over the last decade an ever-increasing integration of capabilities and functionalities. With the evolution of the small module-based computing techniques and the nearly universal adoption of system-on-a-chip components, the end user can now receive better solutions at lower costs, thus creating a demand for a standard to utilize this evolving technology and adapt it to smaller size computers. So a consortium of manufacturers, integrators, vendors, and users operating in the avionic and military market decided to come together to create a new standard that best meets the current stringent requirements of size, weight, and power, also known as SWAP, while being sensitive to costs. The result of this effort was the creation of the Vita 74 Committee, or by their marketing name, VNX. With Trident chairing the committee, the following is a list of the committee members. So what is VNX? As written in the first bullet, VNX is a standard for plug-in modules. The focus is on the module, allowing a lot of flexibility on how it can be implemented. The modules come in two types. This will be explained more in detail shortly. Since this module is destined for rugged environments, the VNX standard was designed to be rugged and conduction cooled, with specifications typically referenced in systems qualified to MIL standard 810 and Vita 47, including extended temperature, high shock, and severe vibration. When designing the new standard, the committee decided to apply existing proven technologies and lessons learned from as many existing standards as possible in an effort to minimize cost, technical, and schedule risks. Instead of describing what needs to be inside the module, the VNX approach was to define the outside of the module. In other words, the connector, slot profiles, overhead signaling, module size, and essential cooling details, and leave the flexibility inside to the module designers. The flexibility allows engineers to integrate commercially available Calm Express and system on a module boards onto a predefined rugged module. In simple terms, this can be explained as standard modules on standard modules, thus leading to quicker time to market of systems with limited or zero NRE, regardless of how unique the requirements are. VNX was not created to replace VPX. On the contrary, the electrical signal interfaces, PCI Express data bus structure, and system topology in the VNX standard are derived directly from VPX Vita 46 and Open VPX Vita 65. But as was mentioned earlier, the VNX committee wanted to simplify some of the key issues that VPX had. One of those key issues was to design the VNX connector to resemble that of an FMC Vita 57 connector, which offers high performance at a lower cost. Aluminum housing is used instead of expensive wedge locks, which is just effective in cooling. Further, the handle on top makes it easier to remove and insert the module for maintenance, but its key advantage is how substantially smaller the module is compared to VPX. As was explained, the standard defined two module types approximately the size of a deck of playing cards. One module, with a smaller pin count, can provide functionalities such as serial and discrete I.O., storage, networking interfaces, and RF modules. The slightly larger module is used for CPU, FPGA, video, and other complex functionalities. But when it comes to size, it's truly small. If compared to micro TCA standard board, it is almost half the size. To 3UVPX, it's a third of the size. And 6UVPX board is 800% bigger than a VNX board. One of the key differences from the previous standards is that VNX does not define the system, thus allowing for more flexibility and creativity. It can be inserted into pre-existing systems, screens, and other instruments, as well as a standalone VNX enclosure. VNX reference design is available for people to buy and for free to Vita members. Thank you very much for watching this introduction. 
please visit our website for more detailed information about VNX and to download Trident's new VNX COTS computer called the Raptor.